What's going on, everybody? It's Matt, a.k.a. The Lumberjack Landlord, here with our good buddy, Zuber, from One Rental at a Time. How's it going, Zub? Wonderful. Having a great day. Every day is Saturday. And today is Friday, so it's close enough for me. <laughs> ah, there you go. Well, good, good for you. You're almost there. <laughs> yeah, almost there. So let's talk about something I think that's very interesting. This is an idea that you actually had brought to me and said, I think we should talk more about this. And I said, I agree. Um, it is the, the concept of the amazing opportunity that the Burr strategy creates, mm -hmm. but the fact that almost everything is targeted towards a newbie investors. Yeah. So I'd love to get kind of your thoughts on it. I mean, you know, this being kind of one of those things that you'd spend some time thinking about, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts? You know, what are, what are some of the areas that you think we need to address to make sure that, cause I've seen, I agree with you. It, it's, it's scary. Yeah. So there's a couple of things. First and foremost, I must acknowledge that I've been doing Burr for 12 or 13 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was doing Burr while I was a featured blog writer on Bigger Pockets in 2006 and seven. I, you know, I was doing it before it was an acronym that uh, mm -hmm. uh, that they coined. Right. Uh, and the beauty is the articles are still there, so I can go back and point them. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so again, it's a strategy that I've used. Mm -hmm. It does work. Sure. You can seriously build a portfolio. Uh, that takes some working capital, but you can use that working capital over and over again. And I, I've done it. I know it works. Yep. It can lead to a portfolio of, of units that you have none of your own money in. I know it works. I've done it. That said, um, I get very nervous when uh, experts, gurus, start selling visions of uh unicorns and rainbows and four leaf clovers to novice investors it just yeah. it grades on them. yeah and i see a lot of that today mm -hmm. uh in my second book 15 conversations with real estate millionaires the only topic that got hit twice was burr one by a couple that's done it successfully and then one by uh, a proponent that i trust that it basically says burr is an advanced strategy mm -hmm. I think Burr is a strategy that everybody should have on their tool belt. It's just not the first strategy. No. Every step of the Burr strategy in a flat to down market has five, six, seven X the risk. And if you are getting into Burr with borrowed capital, mm -hmm. it could be a total and complete disaster. So it's I am sitting here watching people push Burr more and more. And I'm like, God, this makes me feel sick. There, there's people that are going to be just, there are people that will try to do a bird product one time and they'll never come back to real estate because they got, they got toasted or they burned mom's money or, you know, they lost a best friend over it or, or whatever. So I, I, I feel flummoxed because I know it works. Yep. Uh, I've done it dozens of times, but man, talk about the wrong strategy at the wrong time. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Not not cool today, I don't think. So that's that's what I was thinking about when when I said, hey, we should talk about this again. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think that, you know, I've done burrs as well. Um, I'm a value add investor. So yes, all those things. I would not do a deal right now with any assumption that I could pull my money back out. No. That's that's really at the core of what we're talking about. The core of what we're talking about is not doing a deal right now where you believe on the other side that you're going to pull some stack of cash. You have no, no idea whatsoever, especially because as a seasoned investor, as an elite, you know, uh, value add investor where I've done over a hundred projects and I'm, I'm talking day to day, I'm talking spreadsheets and the work, and the process and the GCing the entire project, uh, the numbers are moving too quickly to count on what the numbers are. They're yeah, you, way you told fast. me about a project that you paid for seemingly less than a month ago that you got requoted and you got shocked by a you know a fifteen thousand dollar gap. I mean that's yeah. that's hard to plan. And it was essentially the same job. That's crazy. Yep. It it was the same job. That's what the problem was. And I just said, I said, what, what happened? And he goes, yes. whoops. He goes, those systems now are twice as much. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not labor that got you. It was mm -hmm. the unit. It was the yep. physical thing. Yeah. Yep. The physical stuff. And so anybody that's a, that's burring, even if they're leaning on a GC to do it, the fact of the matter is, is that 
price increases are coming. I was doing a sheetrock job and literally from the time he quoted to the time he had to do it, he goes, there's nothing I can do. It says it right in the contract. He goes, we got a 12% bump in sheetrock. Yeah. It's 20 grand worth of sheetrock. Yeah. It, That's an extra 2,500 bucks, 2,400 bucks. Yeah. The, the, the bird, I mean, again, I, I feel, I, you know, I'm on both sides, right? Me personally, I know Burr works. I've done it. It's helped. It's yeah. helped our portfolio. It's just, it's timing. And it really grades on me that people are selling this to novice investors. Right. It's like, do you really want to sell your soul yep. for a couple of hundred dollars? Nope. Some book revenue. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Cause again, think about all the steps, right? Buy, right. right? The very first step. Yep. You buy a fixer. Cause that's what you're going to do with a Burr. Sure. Uh, you're going to buy a fixer and you're going to have some ARV, which stands for after repair value. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That ARV is wrong. Yes. <laughs> Let me just tell you right now, it's wrong. A hundred percent. Because Mike, normally we can get at least a feel. Yeah. In an up market, you know that three months from now, you're either flat or up. In a market like this, where rates continue to increase, you're flat or down. Those are your only options. Well, yeah. I mean, well, the other thing is a lot of novice investors and these people that sell this pipe dream won't admit that a refi appraisal is different than a purchase appraisal. Let's assume the market's flat. Let's assume it's up slightly. You're going to buy a one you're going to buy a 200k house for 100 grand and you're going to put 50 in. So your ARV is 200 in this example. Mm -hmm. Well, in an up market, you know, of 90 day window, you know, 6 month window whatever it is, you get bailed out. In right. a flat market, I guarantee it's just not how it works. A refi appraisal is not going to give you the same number as an ARV. In a in a up market, the delta could be you know six seven percent. In a flat market, the delta could be fifteen or twenty percent. So, yeah. I'm sorry, folks. A, a refi appraisal is lower than a purchase appraisal. Uh, nobody talks about it. Right. It will become crazy. It'll be a gotcha, and that's the first step. Yes. We haven't even gotten to repair yet. Nope. So and, now we go to repair yeah. materials, mm -hmm. skills, mm -hmm. stealing mm -hmm. stuff you missed. Yep. I mean, you think a buy is risky and ARV is risky. The freaking first R is bananas. Yep. Then you get to rent. Eh, okay. You're probably close enough. Yep. Then refight wrong. wrong and then repeat. Yeah. You can't repeat because you bust it out. You lost somebody's money and you're done. Oh, just burrs and, an amazing advanced strategy that is being sold to goldfish and the goldfish are going to get crushed. Oh, it's yeah. bad, 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 bad. Yeah. I think the, you know, of, of the things that you listed off, I'm least concerned. I'm least concerned with the stealing. I'm least concerned with the wage increase. I'm most concerned with material fluctuation, but material availability. Yeah. Or oh, yeah. I, Cause that'll just eats into holding costs. It does. So I, so I was, I just called, I just called my lumber yard this morning and I said, Hey, I need to order some doors. He's like, how many? I said, six. I said, stock doors. It's our craftsman three. It's what we always use. He's like, okay. I said, so usually when I order on a Friday, I have them by next Wednesday or next Thursday. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> I, go, I go, all right, what's the right expectation? He goes probably two weeks. I gotta wait two weeks for doors. Wow. Well, guess How what? How about windows? Windows were nasty for a while. 16 yeah. weeks. Oh, four. I waited. You gotta go through winter. I waited 16 weeks for windows on this last project. 16 weeks. I, uh, it's 16. And the crazy part was I also had to pay a premium. That was a rush. Yeah. <laughs> I had to rush uh, to, to get them in 16. I had to rush it. So we just got. So we just got numbers uh, yesterday from one of my window suppliers. They have three or four different lines of windows and um, uh, three. And basically the fastest was four weeks and the slowest was about six. So it's down, oh, that's good. but it's still not two. Yeah. And the problem is, is that that means that I used to be able to do an entire unit. And this could be windows, doors, flooring, kitchen, cabinet, bath, like yeah. the whole nine, a bath, everything. I And heating system. I could do an entire project in 60 to 90 days really consistently. Yeah. Yeah. Me too for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And now no way. No way. No. Way. Now you got to jumble jobs and you got to do people are available. Not yep. I mean, it's, I, again, this Burr is an advanced strategy that is yeah. amazing. The, it works best in an up market and it's not, an, it's not, 
It's not what you do first. It's just no. not. Not. The, the number of supply chain issues that as elite and good as I am, I could not anticipate that they would get that bad. We bought, we had ordered the siding for one of our projects and it took three weeks to get the siding in. We got the siding in and they miscalculated by one square. And short. I was like, you're ki- short, short a square. Oh. I'm like, you're killing me. So they called and they're like, we just need one more square of this. And they go, we have none. None. Zero. And I said, oh, well, we're not going with brown to match my gray. Yeah. So we had to hunt some down. There was a warehouse in New York that had one square left, one box of it left. Mm. They said, but some of the pieces are going to be broken. It was a return. We're like, we'll have to make it work. It's our only yeah. option. Wow. So we had to wait inter-office delivery. And I was like, that's not, that's a problem. Guess what? We had the appraiser coming in three days. Mm. We don't have time for that. Guess what happened? Contractor mm. had to jump in the truck. They had to drive right. to New York, pick it up. And then now, how, now how far is that? I, I, so that's hours? about it. it uh, no, it's for us. It's about five hours. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a it's haul. A ten, Cause that's, it's a that's, 10 hour day. Yeah. It's drive five hours, spend 20 minutes, Correct. put it in the truck, drive back. Correct. Literally throw it on the roof rack and then bring it back. Yep. So this, and this was, this was everything. It was the win- so windows 16 weeks instead of two. It was LVLs. They ran short on LVLs, which we like oh, to use Florida, to Sister yeah. Joyce. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah. The, I mean, just everything with this stuff. So I would really discourage anybody from doing a burr because as enthusiastic as you might be, it's yeah, the, likely, spread, the spreadsheet looks wonderful. Yeah. And, and, It's you're going to find something when you open up a wall that you weren't expecting. Lots of somethings. It's it could it could be anything. It could be it could be insulation. It could be you you could be (laughs) I remember opening a wall one time and there was newspaper. Yes. Oh, I've done that. Yeah. I've done that. Newspaper. Uh, That's that's good with wiring. (laughs) Yeah, that happens a lot. That happens a lot out here. A lot out here are you'll also find wide open bays where there's no insulation whatsoever. Oh my god, that that's not good. It's crazy. And so, yeah, please, if you're considering doing a burr, read some horror stories of people in the last six months that have tried to do burrs. Because I can tell you that on the boards, I see at least a couple people a week post something about a burr that's gone sideways for them. And, and I would put them on the I, sidelines. I will tell you it's going to get worse because oh, again, it's, people have been bailed out by timing. Yep. It's, it's over. Yeah. Over. How many guys, this was one of the crazy things that happened in 06 and 07. Mm. The burrs, the guys that were bad at it and it took them six and nine months. They mm-hmm. couldn't do it in three months. Mm-hmm. They were rewarded every time with higher prices and until that's the, they until, weren't. Until they weren't. Yeah. And the problem was is at that point they had six or seven burrs going on at the same time. Yeah, because of one this is why burr is so damaging to new investors. It works once. Yep. It works a second time. And they go, damn it, why would I ever stop? I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna do 19 of these. And then the empire implodes. Yeah. People, please watch your burrs. Mike, tell everybody where they can find you, my friend. One rental at a time. And I do my live streams uh eight, I almost said nine at eight a.m. Saturday, one hour. Get on early, ask questions. You want to jump the lines. Uh, it's the only time I talk about super chats. That, that's the way to jump the line. That is the way to jump the line. Lumberjack landlord. We always try and create great content for you. Please make sure you subscribe and give us that tickle of the like button. We appreciate it. Have a great rest of your week. Mike, we'll see you in segment number two. You got it.